Okay, everyone. So I got these uh, blinds from Lowe's. They were having a really good sale. Like this particular blackout blind here you can get for 40 bucks. It's motorized. It comes with a remote. Um, but it's not smart. Um, so let me show you how I integrated this into... Let me raise this. You see that they're fairly quiet. They do a pretty good job of blacking out the light. All right, so to integrate them in the home assistant, you need a door sensor. You see I put one there on the bottom. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna tell it, you know, where it is when you get it uh, all the way open, you can have one at the bottom and it'll send Home Assistant a message. But I wanted to take it a step further and actually have it able to, you know, come down to maybe 25%, then 50%, then 75%, and then down to 100. So I can show you how I do that in the, uh, UI here. Let's bring it down to 50%. See, it stops at uh, 50% there. And the way I did this was I got these little magnets from Home Depot. And I put one at, you know, 25%, 50%, 75%. I have the rest of the door sensor at 100%. And then I put one up at the top up there to represent 0%. And what you need is a counter and an input number helper. So this here is where the input number helper comes in for the UI and the counter helper is going to track where it is so you need an automation that when the blind starts closing and it's going to show closed or opened so if you have it all the way opened and you want to start closing it it's instantly in, in home assistant going to show it as closed um, oh, and by the way, I'm using a bond bridge with the bond integration for Home Assistant. Um, so the counter is going to increment in 25s. So it's going to start at 0, go to 25, then to 50, then to 75, and then to 100 when it reaches the bottom. So you have it set at 0 when it's at the top. And then the automation is going to track the next time it is closed. When the door sensor is closed, it's going to increment it up to 25. And then it's going to increment it up to 75. Then it's going to increment it up to 75. Let's say you're at 50% and you want to go down to, you want to take it back up to 25%. So Home Assistant is going to see is the desired location higher or lower than the current location and it's going to send the blind in the direction that it needs to make it match and so you need um, a couple actions in home assistant um, so you need one trigger at for zero one trigger for 25 one trigger for 75 and 50 and one trigger for 100 and then another trigger for when it reaches the desired position and that'll be that'll send the stop command to the blind so no matter which one you select see i'm at 25 now i can go down to 75 
Home Assistant's going to see that that's a higher number and start closing the blind. So when the blind is showing closing and it passes a magnet, it increments the number until it reaches 75. And that's where it sends the stop command. And it works in reverse, of course. So I'll take this back up to 25 again. And it's going to stop at 25. So you need the one automation which tracks the counter, you know, to go, make it go from 0 to 25 to 50 to 75. And then you'll need an, another automation that is actually the trigger to get it moving. Let me put this all the way up, all the way up to 0. And it works pretty reliably. Um, if it does get off track, you just have to manually set the uh, increment or decrement where you're where we need it on the uh, the counter. Um, by the way, these are the Allen and Roth blinds available at Lowe's and on the website right now. I mean, this is uh, September nineteenth, two thousand twenty-two. On the website, they don't have the sale price. If you go into the store, they're having a clearance sale, and they're, some of them are down to like 25 bucks. Um, so pretty, pretty good money. I got six blinds for the whole big room here with the bond bridge and the door sensors I needed, and I spent less than 600 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal, and uh, setting them up this way has worked out pretty good. All right, everybody, have a good one.